Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Um, I'm going to be making a gift box. I know we can all make gift boxes, blah, but this is quite an unusual one for me. I'm going back to my festive chic because these are going to be a, a Christmas present. So I know my sister doesn't watch, so it's for her. <laughs> She's into a really nice sunglasses and I buy it. So I bought these beautiful ones, absolutely, and they've got the crystals on the side. <laughs> but they're absolutely stunning, beautiful. Look at those gorgeous crystals on the side. She will love these. My sister is, she likes big and bold, and these are right up her street. So they are absolutely stunning. I've started to get my Christmas presents. I get them all year round. Well, they came in a big, nasty, big white box. <laughs> I could have just decorated the box, but I want to make my own. So I'm going to make one big enough for these beautiful songs. I want them myself. They're beautiful. So I've, deci I've deciphered the measurements I need for the box. I'm using that sh um, Festive Chic and our Blackberry Bliss go so well together look at that isn't that gorgeous so woo, this is going to be my base <coughs> excuse me i'm using the thick for the wire at the top so i can add but we're going to reinforce the lid i think that's most important because because the lid's the one that's going to be coming off and off on and off on and off on and off so we're going to score and get our score tool out i simply scored. I'll give you the measurements as we go. So we'll start with the base. Now this is 8 by 11 and a half. And this one, ooh, where's my measurements? Come on, Gaina. <laughs> uh, we're going to score this at two and a half on both sides, on all four sides. So I'm using my big one because I don't want to crack anything. So it's just two and a half, all four sides. I just did one with a full A4 sheet of paper and it was a little bit loose, the box. The, the glasses were a little bit loose inside, so I just trimmed it down a little bit. And I mean a little bit. I've literally taken a quarter of an inch off the width and a quarter of an inch off the length as well. So that's the that's gonna be our base. And put that to one side. Now with the thick, exactly the same size. You're going to score this one though at one and two and a half, is it? <laughs> yes, one and two and a half. So we've got those perfect measurements on the inside. Look at me having to hold this like this. My hands are killing. Oh, I know about to attack someone. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not, I promise. Oh. This is a really thick card. So this is one. Oh, two and a half. Last one. Yeah, I like a reinforced lid on a box. I think they're great. So this is basically the same size that's going to be for... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Our, <laughs> our lid, sorry. Oh, I don't think I've allowed that extra sixteenth of an inch, but I'm sure I can do something with that. So, right, we're going to cut up. Let me get my green scissors. I love these. And a swig of my coffee before it goes cold on me again. I think I've gotten used to drinking cold coffee now. So, we're going to snip up. to the second score line. We're going to remove these two little squares here. And this one, and then we're going to mitre this. Just a little bit, and you're going to do that this side and this side as well. So repeat the process. 
pops out and I cut up. And when you're doing these little side ones, try and remove the score line. And then when you trim this off, trim away that score line there and there. It just goes for a neat closure. Sorry, I'm holding that really close. Oh my gosh, I bet you're all like, get it away from the lens. <laughs> Sorry. I get so carried away with myself. Right, like, yeah, we wanted a close up, but not that close. Oh, bless. I do apologize. Nice. I love the thick card stuck for boxes. I adore it. It just makes the quality outstanding. that one then. Good job, we're going to mitre that. So come back down here again, back to earth. And remove those. So that's the shape of our lid. Whilst we're here, I'm going to move my designer series paper in case I hack some bits off that without meaning to. We're just going to cut up the sides same as we've done, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to mitre these as well. And I want a big mitre and I'm even going to snip a bit off because you don't need all that to tuck around, bulk it up. Oh, I was having a reflection. Melt down then, and I'm doing a good wedge on this. And I'm not just I'm about half an inch because there's three inches to play with, so oops. You won't see that in a minute. My eyesight's terrible. I can see if I'm doing really delicate work. I have to swap my glasses. It was hanging off the back. So now, because I've done the two together, I can get rid of all my bits now. One false swoop, they've all gone. So, now I'm going to burnish my spoil lines. Whoops, a little flat there didn't want to come over. grip it like that because I can't grip it with my hand. So these now I've got to tuck, whoops it would help if I uh, burnish them as well. So now we're going to adhere those and making sure, look how clean and crisp those corners are going to be. So I'm going to take the time to add and tape because I don't want anything to come off. I'm going to get my block. And I'm going to try and get three strips on each one. Because I'm 
really want it nice and sturdy. And I, I may even add some ready shreddy stuff that's damping up. I may turn this over. It may be easy. I can see them. And I will add a bit of ready shreddy at a later stage to make sure that those glasses don't rattle around too much. And it's even got a little certificate inside for the crystal, which my sister is going to love. There we go. It's going on pretty quick, so I can't complain. My favourite program's on. <laughs> Tipping Point. I love that game show. I, I'm saying that, I don't watch much telly, never do, it's normally a cooking program, but I love Tipping Point at 4 o'clock. So yes, it's, it's 4 o'clock and I'm not watching Tipping Point. <laughs> don't worry about that, over there now. I'm spending my time with y'all. Yeah, we're done. close as I can. I don't need to even squash them down now because I used the block. Oops, she says. Oh, that was so painful. Husband's like, go to the doctors. Let's take you to the doctors. I'm like, Babe, they're just going to give me more painkillers and I'm on a very strong dose of painkillers as it is because I've got to have both my hips replaced I've got an internal bowel problem which if they operate I will die so I'm opting out for that one my colon the skirt, the blood supply to the colon is fused itself to my bowel because I've had a gastric bypass and a stomach staple for weight loss. And because they won't cut off the excess skin, it's squashed everything, my internal organs, over the past 15 years. And they fuse together. And if they go to operate to, to repair it, or try to, they, they said like 99.9% .9 chance I'd have to have everything removed, losing my bowel. Which then would cause me to have a massive heart attack because I would never get no nutrients from food because I would literally, they'd have to put it right where next door to my bypass so I'd eat and it'd go straight into the stone bag and I would never get nutrients from foods which would cause me to have a massive heart attack so that's one of my dilemmas to live with every single day I get pain when I eat and drink not so much severe pain. First thing in the morning is when I have a cup of coffee in the morning, it's horrendous. I'm in agony, but I've got to drink, I've got to eat. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's so neat and tidy. And because we cut those extra flaps up, we didn't need it all the way back here. Look how crisp and clean that those corners are. I'm a good wedge meant, meant I could take it right up to the edge but sometimes they do poke out up the top if you don't take enough but look how clean and crisp those edges are perfection so these then fit my gorgeous sunglasses oh there's not much of a gap look fabulous and there's a tiny little bit of space so I can add some shreddy on the top so now we're going to do basically the same. We're just going to burnish our score lines. This one is going to hide our flaps. So it doesn't matter which way round you put them in. Mind you, they've got to go here and here. And we're going to go, they're going to get hidden. So I'm, I'm even going to mitre maybe. Some of those edges. Oh god. I'm getting that. My fingers have already started to turn. I don't want that happening to the rest of them. 
I know. I'm only 50. My granddad was the same, and so was my nan. And it runs in family, so they say. Yes, I've got curvature of the bones. Right, flip it over, and I'm going to add my tear and tape again, because I just think it needs a bit of strength. So I'm just going to put two on these, because we're going to be reinforcing with the inside. So I'm taking time, Bob. Oh, this is it. So this is one of the reasons I craft. I take my mind off all of that I have to put up with. I'm going to have two hip replacements. I've got arthritis in my knees and back. I've got a floating cyst in my spine, which isn't too troublesome at the moment. Yes, I'm a list of ailments. <laughs> but I can wake up in the morning with a smile on my face. For the love of my husband, my grandkids, my kids, and the love of my crafting. I love crafting. Can you tell? <laughs> <coughs> Do apologise. Oh, look, I've picked up my dimensional strip. <laughs> They're the long strips off the side of the dimensionals we tend to cut off. Keep. Let me just go over these quickly. Do apologise for the length of the video. This is why I don't rush. I don't think anyone should brush a video. Take your time, explain it once, and let people know that you can always stop, freeze, go back and carry on. Or if you do it right in the first place, I do get a lot of you saying you did it with me and I love that. You got all your bits together and you did it with me. You're here in my kitchen, doing it with me. That is amazing. So I'm gonna bend these over. And then also, I'm gonna add those joints to there. Perfectly. I should have had my tear and tape to this stage, but I can manage. Perfectly along the edges. Look at that, perfect, absolutely perfect. It's worth taking your time over. I wouldn't rush this for anyone. So, bone folder in, squash them down. The only reason we put two pieces of tape on those is because now we're gonna add, I'm gonna add tear tape to these outer flaps. And I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to lift, I'm, I'm going to stand my box up because I'm going to use the block again. And I'm adding this right at the top, not down the bottom or in the middle, right near the top. Let me show you. So I've added it right the way along the top. Squashing it down. I'm going to do the same on the long side and then the short sides as well. I like to decorate my box after I put it together. You could, before we put the sides on, you could have uh, added your designer series paper, but again, right near the top, I like to do mine while it's together. Don't ask me why. I just do. That's my preference. I like the block because you can get really up close. Just got a little bit of a crease for there. And I can smush that out. Smush. Love that word. Hmm. I don't, I can't do it like that. I want to sit this down. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's the end of that. I'm going to 
I'll squash that down. So all my tear tape, look how close it gets to the edge. As close as you can. So I'm going to tuck these two folds in first to hide the tabs. I'm just going to fold that over. Let it touch. I don't want to bend or squash it. It doesn't completely hide them, but it reinforces that side to give a good sturdiness. I'm just gonna because we tend to fold a bit and grip it tight, and then it ends up buckling them in. So I'm just doing it so I can touch, and then I can keep it flat and squash it into those corners. So I haven't got bold sides now, they're, they're pretty straight. There we go. Each to their own, I say, at making boxes. I don't like buying 12 by 12 cards, see, because I don't, I've got every colour as it is. I don't need it all in 12 by 12. I like, if I see somebody do a project that is, requires 12 by 12 card, if there's a way I can get round that, I will. If there isn't, I certainly won't make that project. <laughs> or anything similar. Or I will make something similar where I can use my 11... I'm not buying more cardstock for the sake of a quarter of an inch. Don't see it. Do not see it. There we go. I've just reinforced those corners. Lovely and neat. There's nothing nasty about that box. <laughs> let's, let's just hope it fits on top of my... Uh, I wanted the bottom showing as well. Oops. I have made it too snug, I think. I sometimes don't mind that. There we go. Oh, perfection. I did have to... Whoops. I did have to tuck it in a little bit there. I don't mind that in the slightest. I'm going to be adding a gift bowl around the sides when I've come to fully decorate. I should have left, I should have done the one, the second score line, do it at one and one and two and three eighths just to give that little one sixteenth extra opening. So now I'm going to add this. Gorgeous designer says, but and I like the tiniest border again all the way round. And for this, I'm going to use wet glue. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. So you need for these, you will need to turn your page to get your measurements. <laughs> Not really. This box it measures. Um, wow, how tall is it now? Let me have a check. It's two and a half inches tall. It's six and a half inches wide. Just check that for you. Yeah, because the sunglasses they're six and a half by three by two and a half in depth. Because and I only did this with a one and a half inch depth, so uh, you could still see the bottom of your box. So I'm going to add these. So these are one and three eighths because it's one and a half by three and six, uh, six and three eighths. You need two of those, and then you'll need two little ones, which are two and seven eighths by one and three eighths, and the top is two and seven eighths by six and three eighths. There you go. I didn't even have to look at my notes. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> so I love this glue, Cosmic Shiver Specialist. Specialists acrylic glue, it's brilliant, it's really, really is brilliant. And the, that bottle holds the same amount as three Tombows, and it's only $7.99, so it's the price of two Tombows. But this one doesn't dry tacky 
Where is Tambo if you you've got it anywhere? And it uh, dries. Sorry about that. It stays tacky. I find it does anyway. I'm going to keep my lid as it is. And the base, because it's only one piece of cardstock, I'm going to make one sixteenth of an inch shorter. So I'm going to move doing this again. Because you've got a tiny little buckle there. You won't see it when it's open. But uh, I never compensated it and that's my fault. So don't overcompensate. If you don't... Ugh. Add your measurements, which is for the base is uh, 11 and a half by 8 and on the lid add 11 and a half plus 1 15th of a 16th uh, by 8 and 1 15th of a 16th and 1 16th should I say where's the 15th come in so it's 11 and a half the half is eight, so it's eleven and nine fifteenths. Eleven and nine sixteenths. Oh my god, I get right. <laughs> get your brain working, get it, get it brain working. Eleven and one, two, three, four. So that's eight, nine sixteenths. Just for your lid. Or you could take one fifteenth. One sixteenth of an inch off your base and leave the lid measurements the same, which is 11. So I've done all my sides. Now for this beautiful, I love this purple, and there's a lot of people saying they wish Stampin' Up had uh, fetched out purple. I do because purple and silver and at Christmas is just beautiful and they so go together. We could have had gorgeous purple ribbons. Oh, absolutely stunning. And why have we got to do it traditional? Red and green. Who said it was? That is the tradition. There's some people that like red and green. And I'm not dissing anyone that liking red and green. Because I love red and green. But I also love the extra colours. So there is that beautiful box. Oh my gosh, I'm going to make a big massive bow for it now. I haven't got any big massive ribbon. I wonder if you can make a paper bow, a large paper bow. Ooh, I bet you could do that with your envelope punch board. The thing is I'm running out of time and I do apologise for that. Let me just grab, let me see if I've got some scrap quick. Oh, I've got some of this. No, it's not, it's not long enough. I, I, I don't know. Let's have a look. I've got some spare grey here. Let me just pull this off. And I'm going to cut uh, two one and a half inch strips quickly. Don't quote me. I've never done this before. So if it works, then it's all well and good. If it doesn't, then I've made myself look like here. An idiot. <laughs> so I want this to be um, that's a bit long. Let's get my other trimmer. Let's cut these down to six. No, I'm going to do it to four because the box is three inches wide so let's get that is that four? Oh, look at that I've got enough there to do the two so uh, one more two I need two of them at four by one and a half and this one I want at five please don't caught with it if it goes all pear shaped <laughs> I am just practicing quickly and if the video runs out I do apologise because uh, 
I didn't mean for that to happen. So my five, I'm just going to pop in and I'm going to eyeball that in the centre. And punch on the same the other end. And punch. I can straighten them up later. And this is, I'm going to pop this in at two, so I know it's the centre. Punch. Two. Punch. Two and punch. And two and punch. Oh my gosh, my videos. Right, I've got a corner round here, and it's, and it's the old Project Life one, but you use what you've got to hand when you have got... To. Speed on your heart, and you, when you've got no time, should I say? It was already how out, out. Why am I talking with H's? I oh, watch this make a pixie of it now. I bet the bowls aren't going to be long enough. You get my drift, though, don't you? So now, bone holder. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to give it a go. And then I'm going to... going to glue that. Oh, what the hell's that off? I think it's off my bone folder. I'm going to turn that to the back. So I'm just... Just making it up as I go along. Just making it up as I go along, go along, go along. Doop doop do doop 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 doop. So they're the same width. Is that even gonna look right? That's stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> Never mind. We did but try. I'm running out of time, people. I hope you enjoyed the box. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've got a little bit of glue on it now. Yeah. Don't forget to add that one sixteenth of an inch to either to the lid or remove it from the box at uh, the base because um I've got through my bag. I've got some wonderful things here I could decorate with. I could add some glitter. Have I got some bowls? I think somebody sent me some bowls. I'm just having a nail through. I have flowers, I have butterflies. Big butterflies, no bowls. Oh gosh. Never mind. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to mess around with this and I'm going to see what it looks like. May even put a row of um, dimensionals on there. I then have that on the edge of my box. But I'm going to glam this up a little bit. Add some spritzer. Some of this spritzer that I showed you on the last video. Spritz and give it some gl 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 glisten. But thanks for watching. I'd love a thumbs up and a share. And if you'd also like to press the subscribe button, that would be amazing. I do post every day. And if you're unsatisfied, then unsubscribe. But if you enjoy what you see, please say keep that button pressed. And if you press the little bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. But thanks for stopping and spending some time with me. Love you all. Bye.